This is one of those dishes that's so warm and comforting, you think it's just gonna jump right out of that pot and give you a hug. So the basis of this beautifully spiced pork and egg braise is a very simple flavor paste. So I'll start off with a little bit of garlic. And those of you that have watched lots of my videos on YouTube and Facebook would know that this basic flavor combination is the basis of lots of different Thai dishes. So get this one down pat and you've got a lot of different dishes that you can be making. So now the root part has loads of flavor guys, but when we're gonna simmer it down into our braise, it's gonna become a background flavor. So even those of you who don't particularly love coriander, you can give this a go. I reckon you still might like it. Can okay, I want some peppercorns as well and some salt. Okay, now this is the kind of situation that we're looking for here. A nice paste. It's not completely smooth. Uh, you know, I like to have little chunky bits in there. It's how you know it's homemade. To me, that's like the ultimate smell of Thai home cooking. Now let's talk about pork. So pork belly is what we want here. We want the pork to sort of render down into this beautiful soft and jelly-like uh, consistency. And what I look for when I'm buying pork belly is I don't want a lot of fat. A little bit of fat is good, but try and find a piece that has a really good hunk of chunky meat there. I'm gonna take the skin off, slice this and cut this into two pieces first. Now we have a look here and what we wanna do is create a little handle first of all. So I'm just gonna slice carefully just below that skin surface. And you can see now I've got something that I can hold on to. So I'm gonna flip that piece of pork over, put my knife into that little corner there and now hold the knife steady and I'll use that handle that I've made that handle of skin and just wiggle the skin right off okay now I want some nice decent sized chunks here and that's the hard part over all we've got to do now is get everything into the pot so a little bit of oil to start off with and that beautiful paste goes in I just want to get that pork started on the cooking process in there. I want to get a little bit of caramelization on the outside. It's all of that is building flavor for our braise. Okay, and I want some sweet soy sauce. It's going to give us a really beautiful color and also a kind of sweet molasses flavor. Okay, and some regular soy sauce, some sugar. And then I want some Chinese fire spice. Now I'm using my homemade version, which has this big oomph of flavor. Like it is truly epic. Um, you can find a video on how to make that on my YouTube channel, but you know what? Store-bought is just fine also. And I want some star anise as well. Now I'm gonna give that a mix through. I just love that dark caramel color already. It's smelling so good. Okay, and then some water to cover that as well and some tofu. So this is a, a fried tofu. You can just find that in the fridge section of most supermarkets now or from your Asian grocer. Now just bring that up to a gentle simmer. Let it do its thing, not too rapidly boiling. And then put a lid on and let that cook away for about 30 minutes. Mm. Now that has just been smelling amazing. And it's time now to put in my hard boiled eggs and they are going to soak up all that soy sauce flavor and get really yummy. So now guys, it's really just a waiting game. You wanna give that pork an hour to get really nice and super tender. Wow, so an hour really does seem like a long time when everything is smelling this good. Let's have a look. Ah, that smell, the foggy glasses, that's exactly what you want. This reminds me so much of my childhood. My mom, this is just one of my favorite dishes that she used to make. It's just like a beautiful mum hug with all those spices. Okay, so, we can tell that this is ready because I'm going to pull out a piece of that pork and you should be able to cut straight through into there with a spoon. Nice. Criminal not to try these. So soft, so tender. It soaked up all that Chinese five spice and that beautiful soy and star anise flavor. Perfect. Okay, now we want to rescue our little eggs out of there first. Just want to cut those in half. And you'll see they've soaked up that lovely soy broth and they have that dark color on the outside, which is so beautiful. Now, just one last thing before we serve up our beautiful stew is, I like to taste this for the seasoning at the end. Mm. Almost there, I think it just needs a little bit more soy sauce. Now to serve this up, you just want to pile up your chunks of that beautiful pork and the tofu as well, and then add on some of those eggs and ladle over that gorgeous broth. 